Hey guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to share some more tips with you. Um, every time I do a segment like this, I want to share some of the good health tips that are going to help you guys get the results you guys are looking for, whether it's weight loss, putting on the mass, or just feeling overall healthier, right? Because that's what we want. We want our quality of life to improve, and all these things uh, go together to improve quality of life. So let's talk about fad diets and rebounding. So I'm sure you guys have heard of all these different diets through the years. I mean, I'm 39 years old. I've heard of quite a few diets out there. And you know, some stick around and some just get you know tossed to the curb or get recycled years later by somebody and try to give it a new name to make it sound like it's this new diet that's hit the streets. So let's talk about just some of these fad diets, right? And you might be on some of these and they might work for some people, but in the masses, they usually don't. Paleo diet, the South Beach diet, Atkins diet, and detox diet, you know. So there's a lot of different diets out there. So what do these diets entail? These diets entail you taking some sort of supplement or following some sort of eating regimen that are supposed to be getting you great weight loss results. Um, now, if these things really work for the masses out there, I think that more medical physicians would be pushing people into these diets because let's just state the facts. I think we're with 45% obesity in the United States or overweight. That causes a lot of problems for you guys if you guys are in this category. And that's almost one out of two people. So if you put two people in a room, one is probably going to be in that category. And being obese or overweight, a lot of people don't want to be obese or overweight. They want to be slim. They want to be trim. They want to be lean. They want to be healthy. And usually when you're overweight, that's when more health problems start arising, like diabetes type 2, cardiovascular problems, and a lot, lot more that will affect your health down the line, like blood pressure, which is a silent killer, right? It'll start attacking the kidneys and such. So these diets you want to make sure are going to work for you in long term. So you want to make sure that these are going to give you long term results and something that you can stick with, something that is real, okay? So let's talk about some of these different fad diets. So these fad diets want you to either eat just fats, they want you to eat just proteins. They're not giving you the overall spectrum of what your body really needs nutrition wise. And that's really the problem with them. Now let's talk about weight loss because most people go on diets and they're really nutrition plans. This will, let's call them that because I think that's a better name instead of a diet. People get scared like diet, diet, I don't want to diet. But a nutrition plan sounds better, okay? And it sounds healthy. So let's talk about nutrition plans and losing weight correctly. So when you're gonna lose weight correctly, you're gonna have to put your body in a calorie deficit. That means that you are burning or taking out more calories in your body or not putting them in your body um, that you need to sustain the weight that you're currently at, okay? So we know that if you're eating 4,000 calories a day, you're probably gonna wanna trim that down. Now, usually the calorie intake, and it's, it could be different for other people, is usually between 2,000 calories and 2,500 calories per day. So at that point, we want to start, you know, cutting back on these calories. And remember, there's good calories and bad calories. So when people say, oh, well, I can eat 2,000 calories, that means I can eat, you know, a hamburger uh, from McDonald's, some French fries, and maybe a Coke, um, and, and be good, right? Because I'm underneath my calorie count per day. And that's healthy. That should make me lose weight. Where in instances, these are bad calories, right? Your food sources should be good. And by what I mean by good food sources, non-processed or less processed foods, um, not being fast foods. You know, I'm talking about meals that you could cook at home or you get, uh, you know, from a restaurant home cooked like. So you can even go into restaurants and say, listen, I want a plain chicken breast, you know, with light seasoning on it and still be healthy. These are good calories. So you want to really make sure that you're focused on eating good calories in this calorie deficit, which will in turn will help you start losing weight and start giving the proper nutrition that you need. So instead of eating a triple cheeseburger and large fry from McDonald's, you're eating a chicken breast and maybe some salad or some vegetables with a simple carb. Um, you might be some white rice, brown rice, or a potato. Uh, there's some different things out there where you guys can get these different 
macros. And when we talk about macros, what are macros? Because I get that question all the time. And I think it's something that people need to understand and not just use these big words. When we talk about macros, we talk about fats, we talk about proteins, and we talk about carbohydrates. So these three things will help your body in a number of different ways. And for your nutrition plan, you should make sure that you're getting a good variety of these different things. Um, and like I said, making sure these are not processed things because there are carbohydrates out there that are bad for you. Um, you know, protein sources might not be the best for you because they might not be lean protein sources. Just because it's steak doesn't mean it's a lean steak or even some of the chicken out there, you know, with, with some of the different things that they're processed with, this is not good or added sauces on top because you want a little flavor. And that is the game changer. You wanna make sure that your meals are simple, as simple as possible, I always say. Um, at that point, you know what you're actually intaking the body. You can keep track of it. Now, when you become seasoned and in getting good nutrition, you can usually eyeball things or know what's good for you, what's bad, and really get your count of your macros. How much carbohydrates are you taking in a day? How much protein are you taking in a day, right? Um, how much fat are you taking in a day? So there's good fats and there's bad fats too. So when we talk about fat, they're not all bad. There are good fats out there. So when we talk about this, you wanna get a good variety. So meal planning is probably the best way that you're going to get the results you're looking for if you're not seasoned and don't know what you're doing. So if you're new at this and you say, John, this is just so confusing for me, I really don't know. Well, tightmedicalfitness.com will be able to assess um, your body weight, uh, where you're at, and create meal plans for you with the foods that you like. And that's really what it is. People, you know, they, they hate going on nutrition plans because it's a lot of food they don't like or haven't ate before or just doesn't taste good and they just don't like it, right? They can't do that nutrition plan. But we create custom nutrition plans for you that will actually give you the, the meal plans of what you should be eating per day, right? Broken down with your macros, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. That's what macros are. So at least if you take one thing away from this, you know what a macro is. So at that point, now you need to assess how much your body needs to take in. And you can assess this with your food portions and making sure your food portions are correct. So you don't wanna overeat, right? That's a big thing. People put these big portions on their plate and at that point they start eating them down. The first thing you wanna do is, is put the portions that you need. So you can weigh out your food if you need to. If you don't understand how much this weighs, you can get a little scale that's gonna tell you. And at that point, you can assess. You can look online, how much does an eight ounce chicken breast have of protein, fats, and carbohydrates? You can look at your baked potato and the weight size. You can look at one cup of rice, two cups of rice, and you'll know exactly where you stand. And it makes it real simple and real easy when you start understanding this. And you can put together a plan for yourself. Then you can meal prep, which is gonna take a lot of the time away from you, know, you doing other things. So when you meal prep, and this is what I mean by that. So people think, I can't go home and cook every night. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't have no time. So at this point, when you take you know, an hour out of your weekend, whether it's a Sunday, a Saturday, a Friday, you can even do this on the weekdays if you work weekends, and you take that one hour and you start planning what you're gonna eat for at least three to four days or that week. You can actually prep those meals. You can get a whole bunch of chicken breasts and cook those chicken breasts. You can get some steaks, cook those steaks, baked potatoes, vegetables, and you can even buy real cheap Tupperware where you can load that in there and put them right in your fridge. And at that point, you can literally pull them out of the fridge or pull them out of your cooler if you're at work and heat them up. And that way you have a nutritious meal where you know exactly where your macros are gonna be at and what you're intaking is a good food source. And you're not worried about anything else after that. So that's really where the weight loss comes into play is in a calorie deficit. And that's really decreasing your calories with your meals per day. Now, with that, you want a good food source, a nutritional based food source, good food that you're putting in your body. And like I always go back to a sports car, you have this beautiful Lamborghini, you're not gonna put 89 regular uh, unleaded fuel in there. You're gonna put that good 93 octane gas in there so it runs good, it runs properly. You always wanna give it the best. Now, some people say eating organic is more expensive than ever. 
But let's think about this. If you eat garbage food like McDonald's every day, you are going to be in trouble sooner or later. And that's gonna cost you a lot more than what some of that food is costing you now. And I'm not talking about pennies, I'm talking about thousands of dollars. Let's talk about hospitals. Let's talk about going to the doctor, right? To check up on things. And you're gonna have to pay the doctor, you're gonna have to take time off work. These are problems that you're gonna have to deal with later on. It might not happen tomorrow, it might not happen the next day, but I guarantee if you're consistent and going on that bad course, bad things are gonna to happen to your health sooner or later and you never know it's always a roll of dice if we knew when we were going to get sick or when we were going to die or when something bad was going to happen we would probably do our best not to make it happen or realize hey listen i'm not going to do that but since we don't have a crystal ball and we don't know the future because if i knew the future i'd be on my own island right now okay but we don't know our own future so at that point you want to prepare for the future and prepare for the best so these are just some things to take in consideration when you're talking about your health and you're talking about weight loss and creating a successful nutritional plan for yourself. And like I said, if you don't know how to do this, you can always contact Titan Medical Center or you can go to TitanMedicalFitness.com and sign up and get a meal plan and a workout plan that's going to be best suited for you. So these are just some of the things that I'd like to help you guys out with for health and tips. I've got a lot more, so I hope you guys are liking this. Stay tuned, and remember, call or text 727-389-3220 and check out our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. Hey guys, so I'm finally back. COVID free, feeling great, right? But I will always wanna feel better and I wanna boost my immune system because there's more things out there than COVID-19. There's bacterial infections, viral infections, other ones. There's all different types of stuff that you can come in contact with. And let's not just talk about immune system boosting. Let's talk about athletic performance, recovery, dehydration. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Some girls get PMS, real bad cramping, so what is a good solution to this? And I'm gonna talk about it today. So IV therapy or IV drips is a great solution. And Titan Medical Center always does things first class. If you do come to the Titan Medical Center, your medical provider is gonna be in full PPE gear all the way down from the toes to the head, right? You wanna make sure that you're protected and he or she is protected. Um, also, when you come in here, you're also gonna to get to lay on this beautiful chair that can recline, you're gonna get a pillow, a blanket if you need one, because um, you might get cold, because that cold IV is gonna go through your veins, right? Um, you're also gonna to get to watch TV. So I don't know any other place that does this where you can watch Netflix, anything you guys want. You're gonna to get to relax in your own chair. You could be on your cell phone if you really want to. You'll get a bottle of water if you're thirsty. And you can just relax. You can get the IV in the most comfortable position you possibly can. You can get the most benefits out of it. The reason you do an IV therapy is because it's gonna get in your body the fastest way possible. It's literally gonna go intravenously into your veins, into your bloodstream. That means you're gonna get a bigger, full effect of all the therapies or medications that are in the bag. So at this point, this is the best possible way you can only do it. And if you do this here at Titan Medical Center, we're gonna open it up at that point so you guys can get the full effects of IV therapy in the most comfortable way possible and protected the best possible way. So right now, I'm going to get the IV. I'm gonna have our nurse practitioner, Cass, put it in so I can get all the benefits of all these goodies. Now, what is in my bag today? Now, you can make a custom bag, so we have a list of different things. If you know what some of these different therapies are, or, or different vitamins or amino acids or antioxidants that you want, we can build one custom. Or if you say, John, I don't really know what's gonna be the best for me. So we have laid out different Titan therapy bags for you that can cover a range of different things, from recovery, athletic performance, dehydration, uh, cramping from PMS, uh, cramping, maybe you're not getting enough potassium in your body, taurine in your body. Um, if you want a better pump per se, you can get arginine, you can get glutamine for recovery. And we talked about that many times. Let's talk about super antioxidants. 
So right now, boosting your immune system, you can get glutathione in there, you can get zinc in there, um, you can get magnesium in there. There's a lot of different things. Alpha lipoic acid is another great super antioxidant. So I'm gonna put, put this in my arm, I guess, right now with Cass and uh, get my IV and feel the best I possibly can. When he's doing this is awesome because I can literally watch through my, my left arm and kind of find out what do I want to watch today. And you have all these different things that you can do. So at that point, you can watch you know pretty much anything you want. We also have another chair in here. If you do have you know something that's with you and that you know is watching or taking care of you, they can sit right by you and you know they can keep you company while you're in here. Or you can kind of just relax. I know a lot of people they honestly they go to sleep when they're in here because they're so comfortable. They're so relaxed um, and they're getting the good stuff, you know, so at that point. And through your IV, we'll be checking on you, um, you know, I would say every 20 minutes at least, just to make sure everything's good, you're comfortable, there's nothing going wrong with your IV, you will be monitored the whole time while you're in here. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy, it's virtually painless. I gotta say that our nurse practitioners, especially cats, are very good with their sticks. They're very professional. I've had some really bad sticks before by people. Um, I don't know if they were students or, or just not good at it because it is an art. So right now, Cass is just flushing out the tubing. Making sure I'm good. You might taste a little salty taste. And then after that, he's gonna bandage it up and he's gonna hook me up into this IV. Yeah, all the way up, guys. So now we are set. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna relax for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour tops. Just depends on how fast we put your bag and how fast it's going in there. But literally, it takes about 45 minutes. But you're gonna be feeling really good afterwards. You're gonna be hydrated afterwards. You're gonna get all these good things um, at the best possible transportation rate and the highest absorbency you possibly can. So what I'm gonna do right now is. I'm going to pick me something out to watch, and I'm going to watch this and relax. I hope you guys will take advantage of the IV therapies here at Titan Medical Center. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a call or a text message to 727-389-3220. Set up your IV therapy at Titan Medical Center today. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So this segment is pretty popular, I guess, with uh, couples all out there. We always get a lot of uh, questions and feedback about this segment. Um, so we just go in, in detail of, you know, what's worked best for us or some of the different things that we've done to help our relationship, A, stay ignited, make sure that flame is still there, and uh, B, try to keep progressing and try to take that relationship higher and higher and make sure that it develops into something even better than what it is because you can always be better in whatever you're doing. So I think these topics are really good for today. Um, they're good for relationships. I think they're good for bonding as far as relationships. I think it, it, it starts a trust factor and gets a trust factor there. Um, and it shows a little, you know, people being humble to each other, you know, and, and respecting each other. So let's get into the topics today. The first one is saying sorry if you're wrong, admitting that you're wrong, or giving credit where credit's due and telling your partner they were right, mm -hmm. all right? So this is a big one. And this is not just in relationships. This is with people in general, you know? Some people have egos and or, or not egos or, you know, they don't want to feel ashamed or whatever it may be. And they just can't, you know, take themselves to say, I'm sorry. They, they can't say, listen, I'm sorry for what I did. I was wrong for what I did. Or uh, you were right. Or, or, you know what? Yeah. You know, honey, you were right. Or to the other person, you were right. You, you know? were right. It, you know, it, it takes a lot of guts. Uh, it takes, you know, you being humble, then you be able to admit this to somebody. You know, say that you were wrong. And, and listen, nobody is perfect out there. So we have all had flaws. And we've all been wrong in situations. And what have you done to correct that situation or, you know, apologize and being genuine about it too as well. Because then you're going to say, I'm sorry. You know, and if you hear that a million times from somebody, it might get older, it might not mean as much to you as mm -hmm. being genuine and admitting to this. Now this can go in a number of different ways from, uh, listen, I know the directions, we're going to make a left here. 
uh, no, we're not, honey. We're going to keep going straight. And the left was the right, right way. And then you find out afterwards. And then I told you so. That's the, that's the famous line afterwards, right? <laughs> that happens right? to us all the time. Right? So, this, yeah, this, this, this is an example of what, what happens yeah. to us. So, like, oh, it's this way. Like, oh, no, it's this way. And then you, you just be hard-headed about it and you go your right, right way, the way that you, you thought it was right. And at that point, you find out, listen, it should have been the other way. And then The you other know, way was five minutes shorter. Right. And then, and then you're like, you know what? You were right. I'm sorry. You know, and, you know that makes your, your partner feel good. Um, also, give them credit where credit's due. Like, hey, listen, you were right about this. You know, going into a situation or a business deal or anything else that your partner helps you out with, you know, if you're going to make a decision or first they say, like, hey, we should be doing this. You're like, nah, I don't think so. And then find out down the road. You know, hopefully it's not a hard lesson you learn, but mm. you admit to them, hey, listen, you were right. Had some hard lessons. So it, it's it's really big to do this, right? It's a big person and it takes a big person to do this with their partner or with other people, like I said. But it is something you need to do. It's something that will humble you. It was something that will, you know, make your partner respect you, you know, and in reverse to this. Reverse, like don't listen. That's a big reverse. When they tell you that you're right, make sure that you don't turn it around and be like, see, I told you I was right. I knew I was right. And then badger them. Yeah. You know, you don't want to badger them because they just gave you credit. Yep. And just take it. Just take the credit and be like, all right, you know, I told you so. Or you use it as ammo yeah. down the road. Yeah. Like, listen, I told you not to do this then. I told you, I told you, I told And they've already admitted to you, look, you know, I'm wrong. I, you know, you were right about this. You know, nobody wants that. And that actually makes people fear in fear of saying I'm sorry again because again, they yeah. think that they're going to have it thrown back in their face so they don't want to admit to it and they just get angry or you know pent up you know frustration against you or mm -hmm. whatever it may be so it's really important for you guys to accept the apology okay you might have to do a little giggle of like I told you so and just bumped you bump the person but let them know that you were just joking around and make sure it's not a serious situation because people can get really upset about it one way or another yeah and don't that, let it turn into an argument don't let it turn into an argument it should not be an argument you know especially if somebody says you know I'm sorry you know at that point now if it's really drastic and stuff like that and you need more than I'm sorry then that's what it is but this is something basic like I said this is something like directions or you know maybe it was some mistake that you were going to make in the relationship and stuff like that and they, they try to tell you the right way and then you found out it was wrong and at that point you know you went back to them you know apologize generally and let them know that they were right and that will make them feel better about it for sure and that will make them want to be more open with you so let's go on to the next one because this is another big one right now a lot of questions come in from from people to us how do you guys keep a relationship going like you do it seems like you guys are just mm -hmm. Now dating, like you just started dating. We like, act like that when that, we go out. Yeah, so people ask all the time. You know, we like, still kiss and we still hold hands yeah. and we still hug. And, you know, when we walk, we walk together. I might just put my arm underneath his arm. Like it's, you know, usually after 12 years, you don't do that anymore. It kind of yeah. just fades away. But it's important that it doesn't fade away. So, yeah, people do become complacent in the relationships. You know, we talked about this before, maybe letting themselves go or whatever it may be, but you know, people, you know, always get to this place and they're like, you know, how do we go back? Right? Cause that's a hard one. Cause that spark's just gone. Or, you know, like, I don't feel maybe the same way. Or you start thinking in your mind, like, you know, maybe I, I don't feel the way for this person that I did before. And at that point, you know, our advice to you guys would be, listen, go back to the beginning of a relationship, right? So when you guys first met, okay, in a positive way, when you guys first met, what drew you guys together? What was it that ignited that spark and that flame? What, what did you, why did you think this may be my partner? This is the person that I want to be with, right? This is something that I want to be a part of. And, you know, and sometimes we get lost with that through time because work or kids or, you know, just stress, daily life stress, mm -hmm. you know, especially with COVID-19 or whatever else is going on. You're thinking about all these different things but you're not really thinking about your partner or you and your partner are having a stressful time. So it's always good to look in the beginning. So when you guys were in the beginning, what was that attraction? What really like did it for you? And go back and do those things. Was it that you guys went on date nights? You know? You know, I think for me and John, just a couple of things. I mean, me, me and him both, we both like music. Um, you know, we like to dance and we like music. So we still, to this day, maybe not for the last few weeks, I feel a little under the weather, obviously, but 
um, to this day, we still go out, you know, at least once or twice, you know, twice a month at least, and go somewhere, like whether it's like, you know, a, a bar or a nightclub or wherever it might be, have a drink or two and, you know, dance with each other still. And, you know, I think that that, that honestly, for me specifically, that brings back like a lot of memories and it, kind of ignites it for me with him you know because we used to always dance back in the day like you know we go to all the clubs and we dance and you know we'd have a good old time stay out till five six o'clock in the morning oh my goodness those were the days right you don't have to do that <laughs> uh, and with the pandemic and everything that has went on and the way that life has changed if you guys can't do that per se let's say it's dancing you guys can always do it at home it could be anything you know, set something more manly but maybe it's a dinner at home or something you know and you guys just spend some quality time together there you know or maybe it's vegging out and watching netflix and you know eating popcorn and snacks it could be anything i don't know i don't know what it was for you guys but i mean specifically for us we have like our dancing and our cuddles and all that stuff you know and it doesn't have to be a <clears throat> physical thing people always drive back to physical you know, it could be a mental attention thing that what you guys were drawn to each other, you know? Whether it was, hey, listen, we both had a love for books and that's kind of how we got together. You know, for me and Sharice, the, the real thing that really kind of got us together was we lived in the same area. So we met each other in Tampa, but we lived like 45 minutes away, both of us at the time. Never, never landed. So, and it was like, you never really meet somebody that lived around that area and stuff like that. Not so, someone that looked good. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that's kind of what it was. So remember, go back to the origin of the relationship, the positive part that drew you guys together and made you guys want to be a couple, wanted, you know, want, you guys wanted to share time with each other. You guys shared this passion and this love in something, all right? And you will go back and you guys will both probably love that thing again. And maybe that might reignite the spark or have that conversation again of what brings you guys together. Okay, so these are just some tips and tricks from me and Sharice to you guys. I wanted to help you guys out. We need to love more and hate less, okay? Yes. And relationships, they should be everlasting, not short-lived. Uh, it's too easy for people to get out of relationships these days with social media, divorces, and all this good stuff. Keep trying, guys. Don't Keep give up. Keep eye on the prize. Want to be in that At relationship. At least try again. You know? You know? Gosh, you got to do it so easy. It. You don't have to force it. Don't but, force it. But don't, don't just throw it out the window. Make sure you guys are trying your best. Just because you can swipe left. Yeah. Or and right. If, you, uh, if you've given your best and they're not putting their best foot forward, then it might be time <laughs> to reassess. But at most parts, they will try usually to put their best foot forward and hopefully that gets you guys back on track. Mm -hmm. So this has been another Cubits Corner with me and Sharice. We appreciate all you guys for tuning in. We love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to hear about some different topics, please DM us. Make sure you guys are locked into our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you check out the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. And our YouTube's got all kinds of great videos, plus all these Cupid's Corners for you guys to check out. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Cupid's Corner. Thanks again, guys. Mwah.